Almost clairvoyantly, the old man opened his eyes, and at the same instant, in a powerful surge, the long gray arm erupted from the lazy position, lunged forward, cracking down across the port side of the boat. With a splintering sound coupled with a suction noise of its rapid descent, the small dory and its occupant were drawn beneath the surface of the sea. My name is Carl Pfeiffer. The name of the book, uh, it's a novel entitled The Aggressor Gene. This book is a marine biology thriller. It encompasses uh, a number of areas intertwined and melded together, which includes psychology, molecular biology, physical oceanography, all of these intertwined with the field of marine biology. It's a story of two young scientists working together who discover a new gene called the aggressor gene. It involves uh, their travels around the world, and it also involves a lot about the giant squid, Archituthus ducks. For almost 11 years, I was a professor at a medical school in St. John's, Newfoundland. And when I first arrived there, I met a fellow professor there who was a biologist, Fred Aldrich, whose main area of interest was the giant squid. For him, it was a very tough area of research because these animals are rarely ever seen. Specimens are usually poor, they're degraded and dis disintegrating and so on. Uh, it starts out in this book with aggression of the giant squid, but as the reader will soon find, the same gene exists in humans and a lot of other species as well. More and more behavior is thought to be influenced by a variety of genetic factors and not just the environment.